So there are many many good earbuds out there today with boatloads of features and capabilities that also comes with a shiny price tag to match its performance. Sometimes all we need is just a simple pair of earbuds that we can pull out and listen to some music. Today we're taking a look at just that, Genesis is a Singapore based company that aims to take earbuds back to its basics. So will they be any good? Welcome to a review of the Genesis One. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. With that said, let's get on with the review of the Genesis One. The Genesis One is sent over to me by Genesis for review and although they have sent me these earbuds, I will still be providing my honest opinion so you know what you're getting into before buying these earbuds. These earbuds retails for about 135 Malaysia Ringgit and that translates to about 33 US. For a simple pair of earbuds, I think these are pretty decently priced. So let's dive in deeper to see if they are any good. And if you're interested in buying these earbuds, do check out my links in the description below. So the Genesis One is designed with simplicity in mind, nothing more, nothing less. And out of the box, I think they look exactly the same as the Mixedia X1 Pro that we've looked at a couple of weeks back. The case of the Genesis One is a really tiny clamshell-like case with a pretty nice rubbery plastic on the outside. And the case itself feels nice and high quality with very good workmanship all around. I like how the case is super minimalist with absolutely no branding around the case, no logo, no brand names and just clean. In this case, I would like to see the one maybe on the top here, maybe embossed in a stealthy gloss black font, I think that would be really nice. So at the back, you'll also be getting a USB-C charging port and plugging that in, you get four blue LED indicators at the front that will tell you the battery percentage of the case. Really nice implementation there. And if you want to quickly check the case battery, just take out any of the earbuds and put it back in and the LEDs will light up. And when you open the lid, it uses a super smooth friction lid that opens the lid up and stays in place for you to grab your earbuds. And once you open the case, the LEDs on the earbuds lights up and shines either a white or red glow onto the lid which looks really nice. And similar to the Mixedia X1 Pro, the earbuds have a symmetrical shape on both earbuds so you can put either side into the case without matching them, left or right, and it will still charge up. So these earbuds are really simple and feels really nice and solid. Better built in my opinion compared to the X1 Pro. And at the front, you'll be getting a rubberized button on the earbuds which feels and looks really nice as well. But I do feel the button is a little bit on a firmer side, so you need to press it a little bit hard to get it to register a press. The LED sits at the bottom of the earbuds and as it connects to your phone, all LED action goes away so it doesn't bother anyone. So really good execution there. Behind that, you see two charging contacts and the in-ear style ear tips in the front. And I never really had much luck with this type of design of earbuds as I feel the lack of shape makes it hard for it to sit inside your ears. And this goes for any symmetrical design earbuds. So it might work for you or it might not work for you so it's best to test them out. So the good news is that it's very secure and doesn't fly out if I jump around but in terms of the seal I need to experiment with different ear tips in order to get it to fit nicely. So this is the same with the Tribute Flybuds 1 as well as the Mixedia X1 Pro. When they have a symmetrical design I usually have a hard time fitting them but it's probably just my ears. And from a battery standpoint, the Genesis One gives you a mediocre 5 hours of battery life and a total of 30 hours with the case. Not very high in today's standard, but if you use it throughout your workday, it should last you in the morning, charge it up an hour during lunchtime, and it should get you through all the way to the end of your workday. So charging it from empty takes roughly around 2 hours to fully charge. 
So these are your pretty standard earbuds and they run a very normal 2020 Bluetooth chipset which is the Realtek 8763 Bluetooth 5.0 chipset which we see on many Soundpiece earbuds and a KC-S2 as well and also some budget earbuds. This chipset gives you support for both AAC and SBC audio codecs so nothing fancy here in 2021. The Genesis 1 comes with a very impressive IPX6 water resistant rating and looking at the build of it, they do look pretty sealed up. So they should give you a pretty good sweat protection and even if you like running under the rain, it shouldn't be much of an issue. The earbuds do come with a super seamless mono and stereo mode so you can swap them around easily or use either side of the earbuds at any time which is nice and convenient. Lastly, these earbuds don't come with multi-point support which is fairly normal. Granted, 90% of earbuds on the market still don't quite want to implement this feature yet, especially at the budget earbuds range. Sound signature on the Genesis one is kind of unique. I was kind of surprised how airy and powerful they sound and it sounds really good with a slight three-dimensional sound signature that feels really nice. Bass on these are powerful especially at higher volumes and they really do rumble, giving you a satisfying punch in a tiny package. I definitely didn't expect it to sound anything like that. It's not all roses though and I feel that the mids and highs are okay but they do kind of sound a little bit scattered and lack precision. I think that they give you good crispy notes but with complex songs I don't think they perform accurately and do feel a little jumbled up sometimes. Sound stage wise on these are fantastically wide giving you a very nice 3D feel which makes a both listening to music and watching movies nice and immersive. Overall, I would say that general music listening, these definitely sound pretty decent considering its size and price point. So the Genesis One does a really good job when it comes to call quality and in most situations gets your voice through nice and clearly. Background noises are also properly reduced and gives you a pretty nice experience using this for calls. Anyways, let's take a listen to the call quality test of these earbuds. So this is a test to see if the Genesis One is a good earbud for making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment, and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a simulated background noise so you can hear the difference. So now there's a simulated background noise playing in the background, and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think for call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. As simple earbuds go, I would say that these still come with a little bit of latency, although not terrible, but definitely would give you less of an advantage when playing games like PUBG. For movies and videos, these perform really nicely and you won't get much of a delay using them. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. So this is a test to see whether or not these earphones actually have a latency problem. So what I'm going to do now is clap into the microphone and you should be able to tell. So here we go. And if you see the hands not synchronized with the sound, then you will know that these earphones actually have a latency problem. So the controls of the Genesis One are pretty normal and lets you control most things with the exception of volume controls. To play or pause media or pick up phone calls, press once on either side of the earbuds and it will play or pause your media or pick up phone calls. So to skip tracks forward, press twice on either earbuds and it will skip your tracks forward. So double press. And to skip tracks backward, triple press on either side of the earbuds and it will skip your tracks backwards. Lastly, to call out your assistant, press and hold about 2 seconds on the inside of the earbuds and it will pause your media and call out your assistant. So that's where you can get your assistant to control your volume as well. So that's basically all of the controls you get with the Genesis One. So all in all, I would say that this is a decent budget earbuds and for what they set out to do, I think they really did a great job making it simple, no fuss, earbuds. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.